Hi, I'm Elias López Montero, Chief Winemaker at Bodegas y Viñedos Verum. Uh, Bodegas Perú started in 2005 when my brothers, uh, my mother and myself decided to concentrate all the best of our great production into uh, an, a new winery, uh, a new brand, uh, to reflect the authenticity and the most special souls of uh, Castilla-La Mancha because we felt that in that time that uh, sometimes uh, Castilla-La Mancha wines was not to to well recognize, and, and we thought that that was because uh, we need to go into our uh, our vineyards and express a different idea of what Castilla-La Mancha wines uh, need to be. So that's why we came out with the brand Vero, no, to, which is the the truth in the Latin. So we want to reflect the truth of our vines, the truth of our family history, and the truth of uh, our soil. So that's, uh, that's the philosophy behind all the projects and how we start to, to create our own styles of winemakers here in Castilla-La Mancha. We have full respect about uh, the work of the big wineries, uh, you know, in the area make because the, we have so many hectares here in Castilla-La Mancha, and of course, all our wines can't uh, can be in the same range. You know, we have to make uh, different tires, so 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 we can we can process all all, all these grapes that we have here because you know it's uh, it's many families uh, living. Uh, uh, for working on the vineyards. So we understand that, but we want to make our own styles and for sure we decide to make a, a shorter production only with our uh, uh, best vineyards. We knew we, we, we're going to make something different. We, we knew we, 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 we will need a bit more time to create a brand, but I think finally after a few years working on, on, on that direction, uh, we have some recognition already and we are so so happy and because that was the idea that uh, how we began right uh, when we start to make uh, iran you know it was the the there was not really interesting in the market about the, the grape. And now I'm really happy there is many, there is some other wineries working on the Iran in a different direction. And that's, uh, that's something really good for the region because it still is the, the, the main grape in the, in the area. Um, what we thought uh, in that moment is that uh, Irene has been trying to, to imitate the style of some of the grapes. But Irene is a non-aromatic grape. It doesn't have much aromatics uh, on, on the skins, uh, such, uh, like other grapes such as Sauvignon Blanc or other more aromatic grapes, uh, or Verdejo. No? Um, so we decided to make a, a very uh, mineral directi direction, directive wine, because uh, directed, right? <laughs> wine because it's the only way to, to, to give something different to Iran. So we, we, we thought it's really good to have um, uh, this kind of uh, uh, limestone expression, which is the real soul of our region. So we want to spread that, that kind of sensations and, and, and to help us, we found that uh, the best way to make it is in, in amphoras, no? in tinajas as we have here. And that combination no, of uh, being trying to be um, uh, a modest, uh, austere grape uh, in combination with uh, uh, freshness and typicity, I think it's a uh, is the key to, to make this Iran so different. We thought we need to, um, to work in, the, in two directions in the vineyard. One is to preserve the old vines as Iran, and the other one was totally opposite. It was like the, to, to try to make our own variety selection, you know, and that's what we started in the Romeral. Uh, 11 years ago to develop uh, an, an study 
of which grapes are going to be the grapes for the future in the area. The best grapes are the ones that ripen later and they need less water. So grapes such as Tinto Velasco is very, very low water demanded and it's ripening late. So preserve the acidity much easier than the early ripe early ripe varietals, so that's one of the reasons, and, and the main reason actually, because uh, like this we, we, we are planting Graciano, Mazuelo, and um, Albillo Mayor, all of those grapes are late ripe varietals, and, it's, uh, and it's, it's giving us very good success, and it was also uh, kind of um, um, good for the region because uh, there was those grapes started to be lost in the area, no? and there was very very few hectares. So I think we, we, we have to we hope some so many wineries so so other wineries in the region start to work with those varietals because I think it's really good for for for, for this part of the of Spain, you know. Normally the the day start. Uh, we're taking my dog to the car, <laughs> Koshu. <laughs> he will, uh, and, and we will go together to the vineyards. and start to to try the grapes. I, I don't, I, I can't listen to him because he 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 doesn't he doesn't understand about ripeness. <laughs> if you give a grape, he will eat it any <laughs> in any time. But you know, you have to, uh, and then you start to have the first feelings of the grapes, and 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 that's the uh, that's the first thing I do every day during the, this time because there is in these hot places you know it's uh, it's important to see the vineyards every day because uh, from one day to the next one it could be really different especially in, in, in some some sensitive grapes so you know the the, um, the light um, the, th the thin skin grapes it's uh, really it's really important to, to follow up every day uh, because that's the key for me is to to choose the right ripening point is the most important. After that, you only try to to to, to drive the, those grapes that you have picked. But there's no any solution anymore if you have run that that moment. Uh, um, and well, well, of course, you can get some decision to 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 work and adapt uh, one making to to those grapes. But you know. Uh, the most important moment for for the profile of the wine for me is to is the the picking point. Well, I, every country, of course, has their own uh, personality, of course, and of course, in, in every region, in each country, you know, it's different. So I think when I was when I went to South Africa, it was a long time ago. They are so active and and positives and really great winemakers. Actually, it was the place where I really get uh, in love with winemaking and I just really decided to, to dedicate my life to winemaking. It was by working in South Africa. I, I really respect the work they do. And they, it has many similarities with this region because they also are suffering from the drug and you know things like that and we and we of course uh, can learn a lot of things about uh, about new world uh, because sometimes <laughs> I, I feel like we are a newest wor world and then you know because in Castilla-La Mancha the viticulture is still uh, in in evolution no and we've been we have been so many changes in the last 20 years no and I think uh, the most places in South Africa, they was already doing really, really uh, amazing uh, world-class wines, and maybe in Castilla-La Mancha there was not uh, there was not that 20 years ago. So we have many things to learn about them. In Argentina, it's happened. Uh, I'm, well, I'm working in Patagonia, uh, which is uh, quite down, and also again with the, the it's a very dry dry area, but they have much water than here. So it's uh, it's really a kind of paradise to work for the wine because they have water forever. But um, and they are now looking for more and more recognition in the in the world. So I think that's similar to our our area here. And I really like to work in that in 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 that area because of that because I'm always more happy to work in in those areas that they are you know uh, more more wild or more I, I really I really love to work on that 
on that sense when when you really think that you have really something to develop something to to give to or your the, the things you do can be you know help to others that's a real something that makes me feel really good i really i really feel more comfortable to make it uh, to, to look for those regions that they are that they need you know more 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 winemakers to come and make great wines <laughs>